Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Friday Night as Organ Music Night with some slightly different lighting this evening, as you can see. My main light uh, blew up the other night. I could show you it, I suppose. It's in the bin. <laughs> it actually blew up. Literally blew up. And uh, not very good. So we're going to have some... It's different lighting tonight. Different colour scheme by the looks of it. And, uh, it looks almost natural. What do you think? Does it look natural? Sort of. It's a bit green around the edges, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. White balance. That's a wonderful thing. Anyway, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Friday night. It's organ music night, and oh my goodness me, what a program we have tonight. There's so much to get through, we're not going to get through all of it. It's as simple as that. Let me press record on my device so that everything is recording. Is that recording? Yes, it is. Everything is recording. Splendid. I forgot the opening number. I'm so stupid. Anyway, right, ladies and gentlemen, let me quickly, before I forget, do this. And at the same time, do this. <gasps> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's done. I did it. So that's, 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 that's going to keep Uzamayo happy, you see. Got to keep Uzamayo happy. She's, she's the boss. <laughs> not me. Not me. She's the boss. She knows what's happening. Oh, my goodness. Everyone's been doing things already as well. Gosh, we shall have to have a look at that in a moment. Right. We're all ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. Our opening number this evening, that was, of course, by Mir bis du Schein, or Schön, or however you want to pronounce it. Schön in German, Schein in Yiddish, uh, however you want to pronounce it. A wonderful old piece of music. And that was our opening request for and from our wonderful friend, Mr. Joe Humans. Congratulations, Joe. Wonderful choice. Good evening to you all. Ooh, tasty beverage this evening. It's a bit flat. Mm. A bit flat. Oh well, never mind. Never mind. It serves its purpose. I was bitten today by some great creature, some some bizarre beast of the field. Um, I don't know what it was. It bit me here on this hand and then it bit me here on this finger. I don't know what it was. Some kind of weird, annoying thing. Uh, it's that time of year. It's uh, The geese are flying north in this part of the world. Everything's warming up. Plants in the garden are beginning to blossom. Exciting things are happening. So uh, spring is very much on the way. And today, ladies and gentlemen, it is, believe it or not, I'm not sure if it is where you are in your part of the world, but it certainly is here. It is... A full moon. So anything could happen tonight. I could turn into a werewolf, which means I will come and bite you on the bum. No, sorry. No, anyway, yes. Um, it, you never know. I could turn into a werewolf. Anything could happen. It won't, but don't worry about it. But it could. Now, like I say, we've got all sorts of things to get through tonight and some really rather amazing march music, believe it or not. For example, am I going to be able to play? I don't even know if I can play this. This was a request a while back from our good friend, Mr. Cam Platz. Hello, Cameron. Cam Platz requested this a long time ago, and I could only find versions of it in the horrendous key of... B major, which is the most horrendous key in the world if you, well, if your name is Fraser Garchow. It's just awful. Nobody likes B major. It's awful. B major is for people who just really have nothing else to do in life. So I finally found a version in, not B major, but B flat major, a semitone lower, which makes it so much easier to at least read. It won't make it any easier to play, but it'll make it easier at least to read, and in my case, sight read. So let's see, ladies and gentlemen, if I can play this at all. This is the legendary transcription by W.J. Westbrook, a wonderful um, organ transcriber. And actually, I probably won't be playing this exactly as it's written because, oh my God, I will not be playing this exactly as it's written. There are far too many notes there for any normal human being. So I will skim and skip and um, but we will get the gist of it, and that's the most important thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the march from Richard Wagner's Tannhäuser. It's pronounced Tannhäuser and not Tannhauser. Tannhäuser, <laughs> not Tannhauser. There you are. Tannhäuser. And it hopefully goes something like this in the key of B flat. This is for Cam. <laughs>
Bloody hell, that was a long one. Whew, that was a long one. Oi, 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 I'm too old for these things. 14, well, 12 pages. 12 pages of Wagnerian hell. There's more Wagner later, folks. Tonight's a night of Wagner stuff. And oh my goodness me, we've got, like I said, we've got quite a bit to get through tonight. I'm not sure we're going to manage all of it. And there is one piece I'm still looking for. So I hope I can very surreptitiously go and uh, go and play around for it in the background. Right, I think it's time, ladies and gentlemen, because a few people have already been doing things to say good evening and thank you. Gosh. <sighs> right, let's then say thank you to... Oh, hold on a minute. That's something else. That's something else. And hold on. That's something else. Oh, gosh. As is that. Uh, right, that's fine. Now we, can, now we can have a look and see what's going on here. Right, let's get rid of all of that. Ha! There we are. Right. Cleaned out the email so I can see what's going on. Right. Who's this? Frantishek Dolihal from Trevich. I can't do this. At the back of the throat. I can't do that. I was born in, a, in an English-speaking country. We can't do... We can't do that thing that other parts of Europe can. So I'm going to say Trevich and have it like that. There you are. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> so that's it. So thank you very much to František and of course to Marketa as well, who I believe is not with us this evening, but František is. So that's fine. Now, what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? We have a few extras here. Alexander. Alexander, thank you very much indeed. Who's this? Who's this? Martin. Thank you, Martin. Oh, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, who's this? Oh no, I'm back to Alexander again. Sorry, hold on, hold on a minute. Ah. Uh, I'm getting lost. That was Alexander, sorry, there we are. Uh, who does? Jan, thank you very much, Jan. Jörg, thank you very much. Jörg, my friend in Switzerland, is asking me if I know someone called Hannes Meyer. That was our Fraser in 70s in organ music and folks and jazz. I don't know, is that a Swiss guy? Hannes Meyer, I don't know that. Andre Brasseur. Now, I know him, André Brasseur, the Belgian guy. I know him. He was great fun. Um, but Hannes Meyer, I don't think so. I'll have to have a look. But thank you for letting me know. I will find out. Find out. And hold on. Who was that? That was Jörg and Jerry. Thank you very much. Happy Friday night. And a happy Friday night to you too. There's going to be more news about Jerry coming up very soon. Opus, thank you very much indeed as well. There we are. Ah, we're moving. We're only we're only 15 minutes in, or 20 minutes in now. That was a long piece of music, that. And we're already ticketing away in the background. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Anything gets reinvested into the channel one way or another. I'm going to reinvest in some tasty beverages because this is not very nice tonight. But it's wet and it's cool and it will do. So there we have it. Right, are we going to do the rest of that now or are we going to do it later? I'm not sure, actually. We might do it later. Now, we're keeping an eye on the chat tonight. We're going to keep an eye. We might have a, a secret guest this, this evening, ladies and gentlemen. We might have our secret guest. Um, we have a new Ukrainian person in the chat, by the way. But I'm not going to say any more than that. I don't know if our Ukrainian friend will appear. What's this? What on earth is this? You know what? I really don't know. I'm going to have to find out what that is. That looks rather weird. A strange request. Let's pop it in the request bin and see what we can do with it. And when I say bin, I literally mean bin. Uh, <laughs> so that's that. Oh, what's going on here? Right. Oh, some cup, uh, cups of tea. Cups of tea from Yellowbird. Thank you very much. From Roger. Thank you very much indeed. And, oh, Joe and Marie have been contributing towards, what's this, towards, oh, our NAS drives. Yes, we're running out of space on our NAS, so we're saving up for NAS drives uh, to add to that. Uh, so thank you very much for that. Very kind indeed. And as I speak, our friend Werner has just bought a ticket on the way past. Thank you very much indeed. Splendid. Thank you very much, everybody. Why is Robert Varner saying Vanessa question mark? I don't know. I wonder why. We will find out sometime soon. Whoa. Didn't think that was on. All right, on with the music, ladies and gentlemen. And here is a request from our friend, click, our, f oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what on earth is this? Ah, what on earth is this? Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, right.
right, okay, it's a, uh, it's a score. It's a, uh, what on earth is it? It's a brass band score. Oh gosh. Okay, and it's, ha ha, I've got it because I saw this on the way past. So that's in the number. In the, this is the German Protestant hymn book. And in this, number 166, Tut mir auf die schöne Pforte. <laughs> How am I going to translate Tut mir auf die schöne Pforte? Put me at the good gate. No, that's not quite right. <laughs> Take me to the good gate. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, but it's... <laughs> um, I'm not going to do that. How does it, how does it go? Perfect. All right. Now, it's a marchy style hymn. So let's get some marchy style things going here. Now, our friend Georg Ellendorf, our friend George Ellendorf from up in Bielefeld, in Germany has requested this and he sent me a score a four-part brass score so we have I'm guessing I don't know I'm guessing a trumpet at the top probably I'm going to guess what else would we have maybe two trumpets two trombones that's a possibility we could have a trumpet a French horn two trombones a trumpet a French horn a trombone and a tuba I don't know but it's 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 a score in four parts Thankfully, all in the same key, which makes it much easier to read. So thank you very much for that. And ooh, it goes on a bit. So we shall see. Right, we shall see. So I'm going to play the hymn first, and then I'm going to try to sight read this score. Uh, we shall see. Okay, let's see what we can do. This is for our friend George. <laughs>
Oh, that wasn't only four parts. It suddenly went into six part in the middle of that. That took me by surprise. I turned the page and we had five part and I thought, right, that's going to get going. And then it turned into six part again and then it stopped. Hi, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Georg, for that exercise in sight reading. Um, that's much more difficult than sight reading the Tannhäuser March, believe it or not. Exciting stuff, nonetheless. Gosh, exciting. Georg, thank you very much. Danke, danke, danke. Exciting. Right. Oh, whew. Tough stuff. Tough stuff. Right. Now, in this magnificent machine of mine here, I have... Oh, sorry. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. I have something called... I have something called... Let me see. Where is it? Here it is. And in this magnificent... To oh, my God. That's tiny. No human being can read that. Hold on. Let me go back and find the contents. Ah. Uh, there it is, 108. Bing! That's not right. There's page 108. Oh my god, that's tiny. No human being can read that. So I will do it this way and turn pages. Uh, uh, yeah, let's do that. A very famous march, ladies and gentlemen, from the pen of Mr. Franz Schubert. And again, one of those... One of those wonderful arrangers, uh, transcribers for organ, um, not Mr. Westbrook, the other one, W.T. Best, an amazing guy, W.T. Best. Now, this is an arrangement by W.T. Best, which was then arranged by somebody else. So I suspect the arranged by somebody else simply means simplified, which hopefully means it's easy to sight read. Um, and this one, I'm actually going to dedicate this one to... My daughter, my little daughter, my little baby bundle of joy, who's downstairs playing with her mother just now while we're doing this. Now, she has a baby toy. It's called a baby Einstein, a baby Einstein. And um, it's like a, it's sort of a weird thing. It's got lots of activity things on it and it can play musical notes. And if you could press a button and those musical notes become animal sounds, you can press another button and those same keys then have colors because it all lights up in different colors. Very exciting. And you can have it in English, French, and Spanish for some bizarre reason. I don't know why those languages should be there. Maybe it's for Canadian Mexicans. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's, uh, it's in those three languages for some reason. But in the middle, there's a sort of a roly ball thing. And if you rub the roly ball and get it spinning, it plays music. And it plays classical music. And it plays this. I'm not joking. It plays this.
Oh, something like that. The military march by Franz Schubert in the key of D. Isn't that actually an E flat or E? Isn't that actually an E flat? I'm not sure now. It's in D here anyway, but anyway, it felt wrong under the key. There's Tannhäuser again in the key of B. Oh, well, that's why I didn't play it in this book then. <laughs> Exciting. There you are. That was the um, march, the military march by the wonderful Mr. Um, Franz Schubert. Franz Schubert was a lovely guy. He was a very, a very naughty, naughty, naughty man indeed, and um, did a lot of naughty, naughty things in his life um, involving involving posh young ladies. He was a bit of a he was a bit of a naughty boy. Uh, he died very young. He was only in his 30s. And he died of the age-old disease that composers died of in those days. Because he was a terribly naughty boy. But he wrote some amazing music. He was way ahead of his time. Uh, way, 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 way ahead of his time. Um, harmonically speaking. And, uh, yeah, wonderful composer. But not safe to leave alone with your daughter. Let's put it like that. Right, to continue our marching, um, <laughs> marching idea, let's to the world of Wales, and that's Wales without an H, just the land of Wales, where our friend Jez and our friend, not only Jez, but our friend Jez and our friend Julian Cleek also come from, comes from um, a wonderful part of the world. If you've never been, I do suggest you go some of the best driving roads in the world. Not that you're allowed to drive terribly fast on them anymore. Um, but it is, it is a rather lovely place if the weather is good. It's basic, it's like Scotland, just smaller and a lot more singing. And it's closer to, it's closer to other parts of civilization. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I haven't really been to Wales very much, I must admit, sadly. Um, but it is a wonderful part of the country and uh, definitely well worth a visit. Here be dragons. Anyway, this is a march on a wonderful Welsh air.
marks on the men of Harlech. And I have just rubbed my eye and I had chili in my dinner tonight. And oh, oh, oh. ow, ow, ooh, that's going to burn. Ouch. Ah, oh, that's going to burn. Anyway, isn't that a wonderful piece of music? I think we all like that. That's all good fun indeed. What's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? Good heavens, what's going on here? Ah, I lie, 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 lie. My, my, um, my buy me a coffee is going crazy. What's happening here? Thank you very much again to Joe and Marie for more. Gosh, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, wow, that's exciting. Thank you. Thank you also to the Platz gang who have also been doing it too. And there we are, Platz gang again. Gosh, and Ian is buying some coffees or tea, cups of tea as well. Say something nice. That's pushing it a bit. Adding to the memory fund. Oh, I've got, I forgot to do something. What did I forget to do? Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm so useless. Oh, hold on, that's wrong. Ah. Can't you pin it? Do I have to pin it? I thought you could pin it. Why do we have moderators if they can't do anything? <laughs> I thought you could pin those things, can't you? I thought you could. Come on, in you come here. Ping, ping, and I thought I did pin it. Oh, never mind. There you are, pinned. There you are. Ladies and gentlemen, you can now all go and buy a ticket to help out this poor dieting organist. I was going to say dying, but I thought I would add a little um, consonant to that, a consonant? Syllable to that. Not to dying, but dieting. There you are. How about that? Um, Right, that was exciting. We haven't played that one for a very, very, very long time. I rather like that. Now, oh yes, I want to see if I can find this very quickly. Do excuse me while I peruse the internet. Um... <laughs> hmm. Perfect, there it is. I find it. I did find it, ladies and gentlemen. All I have to do now is press that button there which says download, and then I press that button there. Perfect. Then I go here, I go to my downloads, I press this button, I tell it to go to that program, and, ladies and gentlemen, within seconds, I should, theoretically, have a piece of music. I wonder, will it happen? It should happen. It should should automatically synchronize. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Will we ever know? I doubt it. Do we really care? I don't think so. We shall find out. Anyway, splendid. Diet. What color? Yes, exactly. Not green for a start. Oh, you can't see my... You can't. Th there's a broccoli behind there. He's doing naughty things to the cauliflower. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's give the cauliflower a break from its naughtiness and you can watch some broccoli instead. <laughs> Right, here it is. Let's see if we can play this. Uh, oh my God, a million notes. How many, and a million, oh for heaven's sake, a million pages. What key is it in? It's in the key of D minor. Splendid. This is a piece of music I was talking to my friend Alexander about last night and um, I thought I would try to play it. Alexander actually requested a very, very nice piece of music, but it's so nice I'm going to practice it. It really is so nice. I actually found a wonderful recording of it. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I'm going to tell you who it was. There's a, there's a on, like, I don't watch much organ content on YouTube. I do this all the time. So believe me, in my spare time, I don't want to watch organ music. And there is a lot of rubbish out there, let's face it. But some of it is very, very good. And occasionally I come across some really, really, really good stuff. And um, yesterday I came across some, and there's only one organ recording on that channel, which I think is a shame. It's a young, it's a young person, a young lady who lives in Norway. There you are, but you've never heard of a Norway organist. And she recorded a very professional recording, very professional video, um, that piece of music that I'm talking about. It's wonderful. Um, I'll, when I play it myself, I'll let you know about that. I think you should watch it. It's really rather good. Um, very, very good indeed. Anyway, that, however, is not what I wanted to play. I wanted to play this. Now, in, in, the, in the sort of 1800s, uh, a young composer up in Russia was making waves and um, 
composing a lot of music for the for the for the for the for the imperial family and having a whale of a time getting paid a lot of money and having a wonderful time he wasn't a very happy chappy though but he wrote a wonderful piece of music for christmas and one of the movements starts like this I think you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to play that tonight, but I am going to play this instead. When that piece of music was written, a French composer thought, that's a bit jolly. I thought, I think we will, I think we will do something different. And he took the idea, <laughs> he took the idea, this is the actual story, he took the idea and turned it into a funeral march. Now, he didn't take the musical idea, he just took the idea of... Uh, uh, a child's toy, a children's toy, a doll, for example, a broccoli doll. And he, um, he took the idea and he thought, well, that doll at some point has to die. Uh, he was a bit of a dark, mysterious composer, this one. And um, he composed a funeral march for a doll. So there you are, Marche Funèbre d'une Marionnette. The Funeral March for a Marionette by Charles Gounod, a wonderful French composer. And uh, you will probably recognize this piece of music for something very, very different. Let's see if I can play it here on Torgen.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I have been joined by a Mrs. Garchow and a bundle of Joy Garchow who's looking at me most surreptitiously. Hello, we're going to get a queenie wave from you tonight. Hi. And in the he fell down. And in the middle of the in the middle of that piece of music, they came up, and she was she was watching her dad playing the organ and screaming very loudly. And through my headphones, I could uh, hear her, and that was what put it me off a little bit. Out. It's a bundle of joy. No, no, it's deliberate because nobody sees the broccoli, so I threw the cauliflower on the floor. And because broccoli is edible by human beings, and cauliflower is just disgusting, it's on the floor. The Don't you dare! You leave it where it is. You leave it where it is. Yeah, all right then. Well, you do that then. Vanessa is going to turn. Oh my God, she's going to live. Ah! What are you doing? So you can't put the football out there. What you want me to pick that up? That involves that involves movement. That involves me bending over. <laughs> I'm going to throw this at you. <laughs> right. What would you want me to do with it? So. So there you are. They're cuddling. You see, you can't see him all. It looks like they're doing other okay. things. That's cute though, isn't it? Anyway, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That was the Charles Gounod, the Gounod's March, um, uh, a funeral for a marionette. A very cute piece of music. And of course, it was the theme tune to Mr. Alfred... I can't do Alfred Hitchcock. It sounds more like Max Wall. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to bother doing that. Two tickets, ladies and gentlemen, have arrived. Matthew B. Thank you, Matthew B. And Niall C. Matthew B. and Niall C. Thank you very much. There's a squeaky girl in the background. Hello. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm being waved at. That's so cute. I wish I could show you. But children do not belong on the internet. <laughs> Definitely not. Bye-bye. It's bedtime, isn't it? Ten past eleven. It's bedtime for little girls. It's bedtime for daddies. I'll tell you that much. Anyway, there we have it. That was a wonderful piece of music. I'm glad I found that, and uh, I rather like that. Now, while we're on the subject of crazy marches, oh, for heaven's sake, another piece of music that's incredibly small and unreadable. It's well, what key is this in? E flat. Right, that's readable. Well, there's only a few pages of that. Right, who dis? More Wagner, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes, this was a request a couple of weeks back from our friend Jez. This is an official request by Jez. And Jez requested this. And this is a wonderful piece of music. Again, actually, it's Tannhäuser again. Tannhäuser. Tannhäuser is pretty good at the moment. What's Tannhäuser all about? Does anyone know? Answers on a postcard, please, if you do. Uh, Tannhäuser is really good fun, but it's very famous for, well, not just for its march, but it's very famous for... The Pilgrim's Chorus. The Pilgrim's Chorus is a great piece of music, and I hope it sounds something like this.
Pilgrim's Chorus in the easy key of E flat. What the hell was happening in the middle there? I don't know if you, I don't know if you know this piece of music. It, it modulates. And Mr. Va or whoever arranged this, someone called Clarence Ed Clarence Eddy. That sounds more like someone who'd be playing a theatre organ, doesn't it? Hey, everybody, it's Clarence Eddy. Dum 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 dum. dum boo. Anyway, Clarence Eddy. Um, God in heaven's name transposed this in the most awful way. Um, so we've got E flat minor. Fair enough so far. And that that goes to G flat minor. G flat minor, G flat minor. So I'm reading a G flat and a B double flat at this point. What? And then an F flat and an A flat. Right, it gets worse. And then in the next bar, it modulates, I'm not joking, it modulates to F flat major. F flat major, which is E major, N harmonically, but it's written in, it's written in F flat. So I've got F flat, A flat, A flat, C flat, and then C flat, E double flat. Is that right? Yes. Taking me to there. And then, ladies and gentlemen, it's in, actually, that's actually a minor. Oh yeah, that's better. Sorry, I played A major there, didn't I? It's in, well, in harmonically A minor. No, it's in B double flat minor. How on earth are you supposed to read that at sight? You're not really, are you? That's it. That's how it goes. That's how it should go. Gosh. What a bizarre piece of music. Anyway, wonderful. Thank you very much. That, that wasn't the thing that Jez sent me a while ago. Jez sent me some bizarre arrangement for piano that was not very well written at all, unfortunately. So I dug out a proper organ arrangement of it. I wish I'd stuck to Jez's original. It would have been much easier to read. There we are. Fun nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen. Gosh, exciting stuff. Right. Gosh. Still was good though. Thank you. Thank you. Right, let's have a look and see. My brain needs a tiny rest. So let's see who's in the old chit chat tonight. Who's in the chit chat tonight? Tonight. Dee -dum. Who's in the chit chat tonight? Let's go back a little bit. Let's go back a little bit. And let's see. We've got Uzamayor. Of course we have. We've got Steffi W. That I'm guessing that's Steffi Wunderlich. Hello, Steffi. Um, Adrian Morris is here. Hennis Till is here. I'm here, apparently. David is here. Hi, David. Uh, who's are still here? Robert Varner is here. Ian Lavery is here. Splendid. Uh, and, uh, Cam is here, of course. Cam is here. Xing Chang Chong is here. Christine Harrison. Hello. I'm a volunteer carpenter in mid Wales on the ooh, something railway and love every minuet. A minuet. So you like dancing, in other words. Gosh, good for you. Christine Harrison. I am a volunteer. You've got some crazy things going on with your keyboard there. Splendid. Yellowbird is here. Jeff Ryle is here. Jerry is here. The Nightbot is here. Razbuzz is here. Uh, Dominic is here. Hello. Uh, Adrian Morris. Jez. Jeff. Anyone else? Marek is here. Hello. Marek is here. Yes, we've got Robert. Uh, Frantisek is here. Splendid. Jerry, Alexander, Don Prince, here, here to Gouda cheese. No, we don't want Gouda cheese, do we? I don't know if my, my, my wife's name has come up. My name is Dave. Oh, I see. Right, so Christine Harrison is actually Dave. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> it's Jim Cascagnetti as well. Samantha Hart is here too with the Alfred Hitchcock. Alfred, Alfred, surely. Um, Casey Latz is here. And there we are again. <laughs> Christine, I, also known as Dave, is also here. Splendid. Cameratim.com is here. Hi, Tim. And thanks again publicly for the pictures you sent of the Capri Theatre Organ Down Under. Love it. Nancy is here. Hi, Nancy. Uh, Raspers. Mike King is here. Surely there must be some more faces here. Let's have a look. Um, Philip Augustine. Hi, Philip. Jeff Ryle. John Castle. Splendid. Here we go. Some new names. I like it now. Gerhard Flink is here. Uh, La Bear. L.A. Bear. Hi. Um, 
I really need to get some new glasses. Max Huber is here. I said that already, didn't I? Christine Harrison is still here. <laughs> Otherwise known as Lofty Dave. Splendid. Coffee Cat. Hello, Coffee Cat. Who else knows this one from Looney Tunes? What was it? Was that the Looney Tunes? What was I playing at the time? I don't know. Fun nonetheless. Right. Uh, Elam is here. Elam Orenic. Oh, Brun... What? Brunhilde, you so love we. Oh, Brunhilde. Oh, yes, I got it. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes, now I know what you're talking about. Uh, Digital Toys is here. Ah, oh, wonderful. Julian GC is here. He's back in the chat uh, to our friend in Shreveport. I'm going to play the Shreveport Stomp tonight, I've decided. Um, Nick Moore. Hello, Nick Moore. Do we know Nick Moore? Brooks is here. Hi, Brooks. Steffi W retracted a message. Why did you retract your message? Yellowbird is still here. Uh, John Castle, Steffi, good evening. Oh, there you are. I'm here, says Mike. Casey Latz is here. Computing with Randy. Nothing like some Randy computing. Sorry, I had to make that joke. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> oh, we're down at the bottom already. Splendid. Anyone else? 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 Diddly 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 boo! Oh my goodness, Steffi is busy learning the magnetic rag and temptation rag. Good for you. I look forward to hearing it. Hans Martin Braunwart. Oh, that's a lovely name. Cletus S. Cletus, hello, David and David and Natalie from the USA. Well, the USA is a big country, David and Natalie, so where are you from? Tell us more. Michael is here who just says hello. Bodenseehorn is here. Hi, Dylan Wilbur. Dylan Wilbur. You should, you should write comic strips with that name, Dylan Wilbur. I love that. Wonderful. Oh, I love it. I love it. What wonderful names, ladies. Who's got the best name this evening? You decide. I'm going to play some music. Actually, I'm going to do right. I'm going to do exactly that before I forget. Our friend Julian is from Shreveport, Louisiana, and there's a wonderful piece of music by Jelly Roll Morton called the Shreveport Stump, and it's great fun and it sounds amazing on an organ. If I can find a bloody thing, um, where is it? Come on, you swine. Those have gone too far now, haven't I? This is a book I have with a million pieces of music in it, literally a million. And I've gone, I haven't gone far enough. Uh, where is it? SH. Oh, there it is. It's not, the title's missing. It just says shrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
the Shreveport Stomp, a wonderful piece of music. The middle bit is wrong, I have decided. And the middle bit was transcribed wrongly. Now, let me think. The middle bit is chromatic and it goes... Yeah, that's what it should do. It's not what it does in my copy, but it should do that. It should go D7 to G minor, and then it goes E major to A major, and then G flat. That's it. That's what it should do. So now from here, it should then go, oh my god, where should it go? It should go D, oh, it should take us to, back to the, uh, where the hell does it go from there? Yep, up, 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 up. That's it. That's it. And then, yeah, that's kind of right, isn't it? Um, It doesn't do that in the bass line. The bass line does. That's it. Anyway, oh, I need to rewrite that. How can I rewrite that in the iPad? I don't know. I have to work that out. Anyway, there you are. A little music lesson from the world of Mr. Jelly Roll Morton. Ladies and gentlemen, I must I must interject, we have not had a ticket for the last 20 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Get your virtual tickets. Help the organist, please. The organist is a dying breed. The organist is old and dying and falling apart. I dare you to play the tune from... Oh my goodness. I dare you to play the tune. Right, I don't know. He said, I dare you to play it. Do we have a full score? Click. Is it a score? Let's have a look. And clickety-click. Boom. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of reading to do. I'll do that on Sunday. All right, we'll do that on Sunday. We had, ooh, we had lots of copyright nonsense last time we played something from Ola. Can you play Experience? I don't know. Can I? Can I play Experience? I don't know what you mean. Um, I don't know. Is that a tune by something modern? You say I don't do modern. Um, modern ends in nineteen in the sort of the seventies for me. Anything after anything after Dave Edmonds, anything after George Harrison, anything after T Rex, anything after oh I don't know anything after that kind of thing I'm I'm out. The only the only modern uh, I get about as modern as E L O and the Trundling Wheelbarrows, or the Travelling Wilburys, as they were properly known. That's about as modern as I get. Anything after that is just crap, as far as I'm concerned. So, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you mean. Not as old as the organist audience. Dun, 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 dun. Boo! Sometimes I feel very, very old. And then I look at my gorgeous young wife and my even more young and equally as gorgeous daughter and then think, yes, this is wonderful. Will you play A Million Scarlet Roses? I don't know, will I? Do I have it? Do I know it? I don't. I love it when you ask me if I will play something and then I don't, <laughs> I don't know it. I'm old. My music is old and I love old music. Old music is good fun. Ah. Theoretically, the organ can, however, play anything at all. For example, here's another Jelly Roll Morton one, just, just purely by coincidence. The Sidewalk Blues. Um, there's patter involved in this one. I can't remember the actual patter, but it's um, sidewalk blues. It's about a guy who's been picked up by the by the local police, thrown in the back of the Black Mariah and taken off somewhere. And um, it's quite a wonderful blues. It's not really bluesy as such, but it's rather good fun. The sidewalk blues again. Mr. Jelly Roll Morton, 1924, 1926, something like that, mid-twenties anyway. Um, it was called the Sidewalk Blues, but he also gave it another title, the Fishtail Blues, if I remember rightly. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think this was also the Fishtail Blues. Check it out.
I love that kind of style, that sort of that loose, that loose sort of baggy style, old jazz. You don't, you're not playing hard, fast music, but you're playing a lot of rhythm, but you're really sort of smooth, smoothing it down. And it's, it's something, it's, it's not easy to do. You could play this piece of music like this. And that sounds quite nice and simple, doesn't it? You could dance to that. It's difficult not to do it now. Yep, yeah, you could do it like that. But if you get your sort of New Orleansy beat in the background, get your butt wiggling about on the old keyboard here, and you sort of get that. You can hold the melody as, as well, just add all the rhythms around it. <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. I oh, really get it going. Woo! fun stuff the ipad kid is here jk haven't seen you for a while how are you doing how are you doing boy i love to see you oh i love to see you. it's lovely to see you here wonderful who else is here who else has arrived i need to take my headphones off my head is boiling that's an old scottish expression when you can't be bothered speaking to someone you say oh away and boil your head um, which is rather good I wonder what it would happen if you went away and boiled your head. <gasps> Dylan Wilbur, thank you for your ticket. Ooh, ooh, now that is an interesting idea. Ooh, ooh, Dylan has an interesting idea for a request. I, have I ever played that? I'm not sure. I'll have a look in a minute, see if I've got that kicking about somewhere. I might. Thank you also to, oh, sorry, hold on, I missed someone. Ah, who, who that? Christian. Thank you, Christian. And, ladies and gentlemen, Jez is back. Ooh, with the story of Tannhäuser, legend is dot 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 enticed. I love that word. Enticed to the court of Venus. It's getting naughtier. Tannhäuser lives a life of earthly pleasure, uh -huh. but soon torn by remorse. Don't know what that is. He makes a pilgrimage, pilgrimage to Rome to seek remission of his sins. What a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, anyway. Right, who, so who else has arrived? Thank you for those extra tickets, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Keep them coming. Uh, keep them coming. Prokop Shebella. Is that what that is? Is that how I pronounce that? Prokop Shebella. I love those wonderful names. That, I, that's pretty much the best name so far this evening. I'm going on my rhythm now. It's in me. I'm getting the Baloo the Bear. Nice. I'm turning into Baloo the Bear. Um, it happens from time to time. Marketa is here as well. Ah, hello, good evening to you. Splendid. Thank you for joining us. Are you alone tonight or do you have your crazy roommate with you? <laughs> um, oh, apparently Prokop Shebella is someone you also know. This is exciting. We're being taken over, ladies and gentlemen, the Czech invasion. This is rather cool. The iPad kid. Yeah, we've got the iPad kid. That's wonderful that you're here. I haven't seen you for the longest time. Ooh, for the longest time. Kevin Monteith. Hello, Kevin. Kevin Monteith. Yes, the pronunciation was perfect. Oh, gosh, there you are. Ken Tucky is here. I love that name. Mutavi Shime is also here. These are all your wonderful names. Who is your favorite organist? <sighs> What an awful question. I don't have a favorite organist because I don't listen to much organ music. I just play the bloody thing. Um, this is my job. 
When you go home after a day at work, whoever you are, do you continue with your work? Well, actually, quite a lot of people do, don't they? But you don't continue with your work as a hobby. You go and take up your other hobby things. Um, my hobby is cars um, and automotive things. Who's my favourite organist? That's a good question. I don't know is the answer to that. I don't think I have a favourite organist. I have, I, ha I know a lot of organists and some of them are very good friends of mine. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, little ticket there for Nancy, thank you. Um, and some of them, but I don't know, do I have a favourite one? The Czech, and, or Czech invasion, C-Q-U-E, yes, that would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? We don't do Czechs in this part of the world, thankfully. Il fantastico banano Joe the scientist, shalom. <laughs> banano Joe the scientist. Hmm, I wonder who that really is. Okay, is that really who I've... Oh, I see. Our crazy Ukrainian is not here tonight. Aaron Schaus is here, ladies and gentlemen. Is Aaron my favourite organist? Well, it could be one of them. Um, Jeff Ryer. Il fantastico banana Joe the scientist. I love it. I've had kids busy with studying. Oh, I do a oh, It's terrible. You poor thing. Poor thing. Poor thing. Splendid. Look at that, all these people who are here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, talking of Aaron Schaus and our friend Jerry Martin. Remember a few weeks back in January, the two were here. Aaron and Jerry were here in this very room at this very organ. We played together, we laughed together, we ate and drank together. We had a wonderful time. We smelled each other. Um, we were live together, not just in this sort of virtual world. We were live. The blue-eyed cat is here. Hello. Anyway, and um, during that time, we decided the three of us would like to meet more regularly. But because we live in various different parts of the world, Aaron being in L.A., Jerry being in Ohio, and me being here in Germany, it's kind of difficult for us to get together. So we thought, well, let's get together every so often on a Zoom call and have a chat. Oh my, that's what happened. My pedal light has gone off. Oh my God, all my lights are dying. Did you, see, oh, you didn't see that happening because I don't have my pedals on. Look at this, dark pedals, ladies and gentlemen. Dark pedals. My pedal light died. Oh, for heaven's sake. <sighs> anyway, um, so Jerry and Aaron and I decided, wouldn't it be a good idea if we got together sort of, you know, on a regular basis, a Zoom call kind of thing. And then we had the wonderful idea, well, why don't we record this? because we're always talking about fun things and taking the mickey out of the organ world and who's our, who's our favourite organist and all that kind of stuff. So we did. So we got together a couple of weeks ago and we recorded it and we turned it into a podcast. And ladies and gentlemen, this podcast is going to be live tomorrow evening. Now, I'm going to give you a link to this. I'm going to give you a link to it, but it's not live yet. If you go and check out this, nothing will happen because it's not there yet. But tomorrow at... 8 p.m. Central European time. Central European time. Ta-da! Oh, there you are. Look, Urza has already added it to the um, to the night bot. That's good. Well done, Urza. Yes. So tomorrow at 8 p.m. So that's what's 8 p.m. 8 p.m. is two o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Eastern time, Eastern Standard Time. It's uh, nine o'clock over in Czechland. And it's uh, 7 p.m. in the UK, for example. I have no idea what the time is in LA, a lot earlier, but never mind. But it's going to be happening. And our first pilot episode of our podcast named Stop It, get it, stop, organ stop, stop it, is going to go live. Please listen. Hope you enjoy it. Let us know. So watch out for it. See, yeah, it's going to be good fun. And it's, just, it's a proper, proper podcast, an oral podcast get your headphones out and have a listen to it gosh right anyway what's happening now blue-eyed cat is here we spotted you um trebich invasion it is i can't do the at the back you see i can only do at the front i can only roll my tongue at the front italian style Mark Hutter is here. Do you like Latrie's playing style? Yes. Olivier Latrie is my little brother. Olivier and I have known each other for years. Well over, gosh, about 20, 25 years? Yeah, probably over 25 years now. Olivier and I have known each other. And um, occasionally we appear together in concert. And um, when we get together, we don't talk about organs. We talk about cars and other things. And, other, lots of other things um but yeah i love olivia's playing he's a he's a very 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 i'm gonna say ballsy player 
he, I'm not going to say he plays with his balls, you know, that's not right. But, you know, there's, it's, there's so much energy in the way he plays his music, and I think it's wonderful. Anyway, so there you are. So, yes, very much agree. Um, I would also say the, the other young guy at uh, Notre Dame, um, Vincent Dubois, who I also know personally, he's also a friend. Um, Vincent, I would say, is, you know, definitely on a par, sometimes even better. Oh, I'm not going to say that. I think Olivia would actually say that too. Um, but Vincent is an amazing one. He plays everything by memory. I remember watching Vincent Dubois once. He was um, he was in Bonn, where I used to play on the organ, and he was recording the entire organ works of Franz Liszt. Gosh, and the rec recording session was coming to an end, and somebody said, "Oh, what about the I don't know what it was called, something like a I don't know, let's call it a lament or something, lamentation in D flat major," and everyone went, "Huh, what's that?" And this person said, "Oh, yeah, here, here's the music." And it's a piece of music that nobody knew about, a, a very very simple, soft piece of music. And Vincent just looked at the music, just took the sheet music, two pages, or four pages or whatever it was, just looked at it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, put the music down, went to the organ, said to the sound engineer, okay, press record, I can start now, played it perfectly, not perfect, from memory, only having looked at it. He hadn't even practiced it, he just looked at it, memorized the pages. Ah, oh, that is a altogether kind of amazing that you only find once or twice in the world. Absolutely amazing. He's also the kind of guy who can, um, who can transpose any piece of music into another key. We were playing a church service together in Bonn and I played the final hymn, which was Grosser Gott. So. Normally an F major, yeah? Normally an F major, but um, I decided that day I was going to play it in G. And the idea was, as soon as that was finished, then, then Vincent was going to leap into the Toccata and F. Yeah? And I hadn't thought about that because I was being stupid. And there was a good crowd at the church, so that's why I played it, not in F, but in G. So I finished that. Scooted along the organ bench. He scooted on from the other side and went in G major. And played Bach's F major toccata in G major. That, like I say, is a very, 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 very amazing skill to have. And he played it perfectly, of course. Um, he ran out of notes at the top end on the pedals, but that's all right. Uh, he made up for it by, oh, it's just, it was, it was amazing to see, but never mind. Oh, never mind. Ladies and gentlemen, it's getting close to midnight, which is a terrible thing. It means we all turn into vampires or werewolves or whatever it is at this time of year. Stefan, our friend Stefan has arrived late. Good evening to Stefan. Lovely to see you and thank you for your ticket. Thank you. Very kind. Anyway. Right. I don't know, do I want to play that? I don't want to play that. I want to play, I kind of want to play that, but that's going to get me into all sorts of trouble with copyright, so I'm not going to play that. I think what we'll play is, I think we'll play this. <laughs> this is a piece of music by the Gershwins that nobody knows. Um, it's a wonderful, fun piece of music. It's really good fun. You can really go to town on it, which I hope I will be able to do. I think actually, sorry, for the past, for the last 10 minutes or so, we're going to, we're going to swap over to our theatre organ land. We have to have some theatre organ from time to time. It's only 10 minutes to go, so we might as well swap over and have a theatre organ. Click, boom, bang, and we are in theatre land. It's a theatre organ, ladies and gentlemen, and it makes noises like this. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the wonderful piece of music. Very politically incorrect this day and age, but I love it. Written by the Gershwins, so in other words, George and Ira Gershwin, his brother. Um, it's called Slap That Bass. <laughs> <laughs> 
Slap that bass. It's absolutely wonderful. A flat, B, A flat, F, and then to the actual key, E flat. What the hell? Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? I love that piece of music. So much fun. So much fire. So much fun. Now then, I'm going to finish off with, if I can find it, there it is. Uh, but I've made up. No, I'm not going to finish over that because but that's the one. Ah, no. Mm. Mm. I'm looking for something very specific, and fast, and crazy. Uh, <laughs> uh, that could be it. Back to 1910, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let's go back to 1910. This is before the. Before the days of real Dixieland jazz, this is pretty much sort of ragtime more than anything else. And um, one of those pieces in various parts, uh, a very good fun piece, uh, Some of These Days. And ladies and gentlemen, some of these days we will get down to some serious organ playing. We're planning, we're planning a long event, ladies and gentlemen, um, a, a long, 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 long event, um, but more on that in the near future. This, ladies and gentlemen, will be this evening's final piece of music, apart from our, our finisher, of course, Some of These Days, by someone called Brooks, back in 1910. 1910, that's a long time ago. <laughs> Thank you. 
some of these days. Good heavens. That was a bit fast, wasn't it? That's actually a lot easier than it looks. Um, what you do, <laughs> what you do, you take, a, let's say, an F major chord. Okay, so you have an F major chord, and you add the sixth note to that. Okay, so you have to have to add the sixth note for it. Now your fingering is very simple. You need four fingers for this. You play fingers two and three on these two notes, finger one on this note, fingers two and three again on this note, and then finger four on that note, and then you just go. That's it. And then if you're going really, really, really fast on a proper fancy registration where you don't really notice, you get this kind of effect. <laughs> It's easy, trust me. <laughs> if you believe anything I say, more the fool you. Um, it's easy once you practice it, that's the thing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Friday Night Is a Has Been Organ Music Night, and I very much look forward to seeing you all again on Sunday, where we shall have Sunday Night as Organ Music Night, and there's going to be more fun on Sunday night again. I hope you can join us for that. In the meantime, tomorrow is going to be... Stop It, our new organic antics podcast, which is going to be rather good fun. I hope you enjoy it as much as we did. Uh, look out for that. That's coming tomorrow. It won't be live until tomorrow, so you can check out the link as much as you want. It won't be there till tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm interested to hear what people have to say about that. So have fun. We did. We'll see you all on Sunday evening. I look forward to it. Have a wonderful weekend until then, ladies and gentlemen, and see you all very, very soon. Night, night.